This is Drom Shekasuto. Thanks for watching. Thank you everyone for joining us. And the real truth is that I'm trying to, to find words to express um, a little bit from the journey that we are going through. It's, um, it's, it's very, very tense and it's very, very deep and it's very, very emotional. And it's um, like many, many things are taking place in our lives. We're going from one state to the other and meeting people and talking to students of ours and trying to figure out the Are like really getting into the deepest rooms of our hearts you know it's you you're on a mission and with thousands of hours of prayer that are backing you up and with with deep mission uh, behind the the lines of the enemy and on daily basis you see success and on daily basis you see tremendous effect of of holy work and the holy effort of all the guys that are working in this wonderful project, how it rises and how it reaches thousands of new souls every day. And the circles are expanding and growing and the content is becoming in better quality and, and with, with deeper meanings and, and the tools that the creator created for us with the social media outlets to use them properly and to reach so many people and we can barely um, go uh, uh, to a supermarket without the person recognizing us and saying oh Abdul, here you are thank you and i know you we heard about you whatever like it. we've been to orlando and a person stopped us and like you would never imagine that the person like in, in, in such a Mickey Mouse place will jump uh, all over you and, 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 and will come and recognize you in the street and whatever. And I'm following and I'm watching all your videos and I see all your content and you're doing great job and like amazing things. And, 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 and also we met a person um, in Savannah and, 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 and it's very inspiring to see people that that are 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 receiving those waves of of wisdom that we're spreading, and in the same time, the darkness is not going nowhere. Like you're still facing hard hours, and you're dealing with very hard things, and 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 you find yourself struggle for your life for a breath of air and your faith even though it can be so strong that it will shine to such distance that people will find it life-saving and 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 hand of god into their life and meanwhile you you you're going to find yourself struggling with 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 such lack of stability in inside your own life inside your own home and and this is something that wakes up certain questions and tonight i wanted to discuss and to talk a little bit about the difference between the creator between god to the devil what is the difference if we believe that the creator he is the one that created all and he's the one that is on top of all so who is the devil who is the yetzer that we will consider him as a creation at all it's all in the hands of hashem and whatever Hashem wants to do, Hashem is doing. And if Hashem wants to give life, so He's giving. And if Hashem wants to take life, so Hashem is taking. And od milvado, there is no one except of Hashem. And we don't need to believe in the power of the devil right now. A person should start being scared and afraid. Oh, the devil, the devil, whatever. Like all those Christians, highway signs. Where are you heading? Are you heading to heaven or to hell? If you want to know the truth, call us to this number, 666. So I'm not calling. <laughs> We're not calling. And we just try to understand what really goes on in this uh, scary world. Like, right, you know, you have real 
solid, truthful believers, people of faith, honest people, nice people, calm people, beautiful people, and they're suffering tremendous suffering. And it's very easy to say, you know what, probably the devil, whatever, probably the Yetzirah, probably the, the evil inclination. It's very easy um, to, to run away to that outlet and to say, no, it's probably the Yetzirah, it's the darkness, it's the exile, it's his fault, it's her fault, it's my wife, it's my children, it's my, it's my partner, it's my this, whatever, like my parents. It's very easy. The parents-in-law is the easiest ones to blame all the time for the trouble. That's the, that's the, like, the, the best solution. But in reality, we learned that rule, that enod milvado, there is no one except of Hashem. And we believe in His unity, and we believe that He is control and on top of everything. And we want to believe in that. And we wish that our faith will be so solid and strong that we will just like, all right, you know what, me, I see that it's only Hashem. And I'm always thankful and I'm always grateful. But in reality, we have a lot of problems with His supervision. If we will be honest, there are many, many things that are not accepted by us. We're not accepting and we're not even willing to accept them. It's not like, oh no, I need to work on my faith and then I'll be able to accept all this sorrow of the world. No, if a person is righteous and humble and he wants to accept certain decrees that are taking place in his life and he is willing to humble himself to no matter what, is going through in life, so it's a blessing, no problem. You can say, I call it Ova, it's all for the good, it's all for the best, everything is coming from a good reason, whatever, it's a blessing. But if I'm going through a certain sorrow and it's in your power to help me, I don't want you to accept my judgments. I want you to come to my side and help me. If there is a five years old kid that needs help, you cannot say, no, you know what, he will suffer and it's all for the good. No, it's all for the best. Let him suffer, let him die. No, you cannot say that. That's not pure faith. That's not the will of heaven. The real will of the Creator is if you see someone else in trouble, that you will not accept that judgment, that you will jump and you will try to help him if it's through your powers means that if you can redeem him with money, redeem him with money. If you can give him an advice, give him an advice. If you can give him a hug, give him a hug. If you can help him in, in any way, help him in that way. If you don't have any physical way to help him, you should pray for him. Great, stand and pray. Don't accept the judgments and the sorrow and the pain that he's going through. So if that's reality, and we, even though we are believers in the unity of the Creator, certain things are not accepted by us. Certain things are too hard for us to accept. And we understand that it cannot be that the Creator Himself is also willing that those things will happen. Can you imagine to yourself that the Creator will want a father of a family to die or a child in a family to die, or a mother or a sister. No way, it cannot be. But if our faith is telling us that there is no one except of the, of the Creator, and that there is no one except of Him, so we must say that it's all for the good. And now we just learned that you cannot say that it's all for the good when it happens to other people, right? So we need to find a solution for that very hard math mathematic drill it's not an easy one and this is a place that many people are falling in many people are losing their faith because they want to believe in the goodness of the almighty and they're putting a lot of effort in recognizing the good in their path and suddenly things are cracking the stability of that faith and they're losing their mind they're holding their heads and they're saying, look, like I'm putting so much effort, like I'm working damn hard and nothing happens. Like I'm putting my money and giving donations and giving money to charity. I'm supporting righteous people. I'm learning Torah. I'm keeping Shabbat. I'm eating kosher. 
I'm covering my head, I'm like doing this, I'm wearing a dress, I'm, I'm long, with long sleeves in the, in the crazy heat of the summer, like people are, are like sacrificing. And with all the sacrifices that they are sacrificing, they're still finding themselves dealing with problems, with judgments, with issues. So I'll tell you something very, very deep and very powerful that helped me to solve this question inside my heart. Because as a person that is a faith seeker and a truth seeker, you must understand that I, I went through a lot and I'm still going through a lot in my life. And it must be that I went through and passed certain tests if I survived 20 years of tshuva and in that path also made thousands of students and teaching them also how to do tshuva and how to connect Hashem. So it means that the Creator gave me certain tools and the real tools of a person is the wisdom that he earns from his life experience. From his life experience, he learned proper learnings and understandings. He achieved real solid and truthful understandings. And he can share those with his students and they can enjoy the labor of his work. So for sure that if today I'm finding myself with thousands of students with total different issues and problems and from four wings of, of the universe and different cultures they're coming from, and I'm able to provide answers to most of them in most of the situations, you must understand that me as a person, I also, I went, I, like I, I spent my, I gave my time to society. I spent my time. And I gave my portion of, of suffering um, for the understandings that I achieved. Now, I want to give you in, on, on, on the tip of the fork a little bit of this very uh, deep understanding of mine as a useful advice for you guys to understand something very meaningful about this question that we brought up. How can it be that if we believe that the Creator is all good and we don't want to give power to the power, to the Yetzirah, to the devil, to the evil inclination in our faith, and we want to keep our mind focused on Hashem and on His unity and on His power to control the universe, but still we see things that doesn't fit, those things doesn't suit Hashem. It cannot be that a God of grace and kindness will let horrific things, horrible things, um, taking place in, in, in our world. And horrible things, and I'm talking about scary things, are taking place in, in our lifetime. You have like trafficking people like kidnapping children from their houses and abusing them for years like things that are impossible to discuss even to talk about and those things are taking place under the so to speak government of the creator under the kingship of heaven so there is darkness separating between the illuminated kingship to our reality and if we don't want to give the authority to the devil and we want to keep on, quote unquote, blaming Hashem for all that, for all that goodness, we need, to, we need to find a solution for that problem in our minds. We need to find an answer. And we don't want to justify and we don't want to make up excuses. We want the truth. We want to know the real truth, what really goes on in this scary world. Like, part of what we are, what really we are doing here. I'm very, first of all, I want to say I'm very thankful that in this platform and in our Amuna project, we're not afraid of questions. Even if, let's say tonight, we won't find an answer to this question, at least we spoke about it as a question. We're not scared to talk about embarrassing things. We're not afraid to uplift and to bring up 
the doubts that we have in our faith. We're not claiming to be righteous. We're not claiming to know it all. Only a very full person knows all. A real humble person is the one that is willing to learn. And a wise person is a person that learns from everyone. And the Mishnah said that a wise person is commanded also to learn. A Jewish and Israeli a wise person is commanded to learn wisdom also from the nations, from 70 nations. It's not only our wisdom. It's a wisdom of life experience. If you met a doctor that is wise, you should learn his wisdom. If you, you met a, 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 any person with knowledge, you should learn from him. So from our life experience, from my life experience, I'm going to share something with you. And it's a very deep and meaningful understanding for me. And I'm sure that it can be very useful for you as well. Before of time, before the Creator created the world, then the Creator was that one that there is no one except of Him. But since the moment He created the world, He sent a beam of His godliness, a beam of light into that empty space that He created first. And since that moment that we, as the light of the Creator, been sent into the darkness, we are separated in a way, in a very strong and powerful way, from His unity and from His infinity. And we are disconnected from His godliness in its perfect shape, in its perfection. And we are now dealing with a world of constrictions and dividings and separations, coverings and husks. And as lower as you go, that's how far you are from that unity and from the power of the Creator to redeem you. We do believe that His supervision is on all, but through those curtains of separation that are separating us from our source, from Him, from the Creator. So even though that the Father, we believe that He's all good, in His intention of creating the world, He created a world of chaos, of calamity, of separation from good, of death, of darkness, of pain, of sorrow, of sadness, of all kinds of decrees. And that was the purpose. And we have been chosen as souls to go and to participate that war, to go into that struggle. And we chose that as holy souls that were aware to the difficulty that they are about to suffer and to go through. But since that moment that we went through the first layer of creation, of separation from our source, we fell into the sea of forgetfulness. We don't remember how it was back then when we were united as one with our King. And we can only imagine how it might be and how it will be and how was it, but it's all in the power of our imagination. And the power of our imagination is already a layer that is filtering the light of heaven and bringing it into shapes and into forms and into concepts and into words and into ideas, into colors, into smells. And it's not longer that infinite light of kindness and grace. So we need to remind ourselves all the time that yes, there is a plan Yes, that there is a godly supervisor, but he cannot reach out in full power until the mission will complete, until we will finish and, and complete the circle of our lifetime, of those approximately 6,000 years of labor, till we will reach the redemption day that will bring us back to a 1,000 years of comeback and rising and shifting ourselves to a higher level till we will come back as souls to infinity. 
but it will take us 1,000 years of prosperity and redemption, of healing to recover those 6,000 years of, of exile and decrees and constrictions. So we are in it and we are in it to succeed and the Creator is with us in that journey, but through those layers of separation. And therefore, every time that you see something, you should look at this spark of life that makes that thing alive and to try to recognize the godliness that is dressing itself inside that thing, inside that layer, inside that husk. What brings that husk to have a role, to have a part in my life? How do you do that? You ask yourself, what's the purpose? How can I grow in this situation? What that situation come to teach me? What can, how can I come closer to the Creator through this understanding? How can I be a better person through that life experience? How can I become a better person with better attributes, with better manners through this intersection in my life, through that experience? And in every time that you will ask for the Creator, like the verse is saying, that the Creator is close to everyone who call Him with truth. Every time that you will call Him with truth means that you will ask for Him, really Him. Not only in times of decrees and in times of judgments. Also when you're licking your ice cream, you need to ask for Him. Also, when you are taking the sherry above, above the, your, your cream on your cake, on the top of your, of, of your cake, you need to remember there is a shem in it. There is a spark of life in it, in the good and in the bad, in the illuminating and in the, in the in moments and in the darkest ones of them all. And need to learn how to reconnect ourselves to the truth in every situation and situation and to remind ourselves that we're suffering from forgetfulness, that we're forgetting, that, we're, that our memory is not perfect, and that it's okay to forget Hashem sometimes if you go back and remind yourself of His being and His existence, and also to remind ourselves that we cannot see Him and perceive Him and receive His glory in full power as of the nature of our creation. As of today, we don't have the power to see Him in all His glory. It will burn us alive. And therefore, it's good for us that the good is coming in portions, and that it's coming in dishes, and that it's coming in shapes, and that it's coming in colors and in amounts. Because that's the amount of good that you're able to deal with as for now. And if you're going to pass another test, and if you're going to learn another lesson, with the right intention and with a pure heart, you're going to rise and going to climb in the levels of faith until you will reach the completion that is needed. And everyone should work the same work from his end. And when we're going to reach a certain light and a certain level, certain power together, we're going to break the ice. We're going to melt the ice. We're going to bring down huge amounts of bounty that will transform us to the next level, to the level of redemption, of complete healing, and it will take place in the life of ours and in the lives of all of our beloved ones. Amen. The world is not existing because Olam Milchon Elev, the world is just blocking the light of truth. The world called Alma de Shika, world of light, is just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. It's just a fake. We're just inside of an illusion. We're just inside of an illusion.